plays into this. The Xavier Woods, Otis, and Akira Tazawa go three on three with the final testament, a six man. Um, basically, they play up this whole Xavier Woods in the final testament, trying to get him over to the dark side and all that stuff. Then the final testament wins, and there's no story progression again whatsoever with Xavier Woods or the final testament and Xavier Woods kind of just disappeared from this whole entire segment. I don't know where he went to. He just kind of fucking dissipated. Um, but yeah, it's fi final testament wins. Uh, it's kind of, kind of, I guess, a, a just a match match to have on raw. I felt like it was a little bit of a waste of time, a little bit of filler. And then Chad Gable, Chad Gable comes out and he comes out with the Creed brothers, Creed brothers uh, on, on either side of him. And he comes out and, you know, basically belittles Otis as the leader of the alpha Academy and gives them the, the ultimatum. Like, listen, stop, uh, stop playing around. You know, th this isn't going anywhere. Come back, come back and let's create a giant, Alpha Academy with with uh the Creed brothers I guess and Otis and Akira and Max Maxine. So yeah, basically they say fuck that. The Creed brothers start beating down uh Alpha Academy. Otis comes back, takes out some of the Creed or the the Creed brothers. I almost said some of them like there's fucking like it's the the Iron Claw. Um Goes he goes in for the uh, slam on Gable, picks up Gable for the world's strongest slam, but he gets stopped by the Creed brothers. Now, I've been making this call for a while on the storyline that I don't believe Chad Gable is done with the Alpha Academy. And that I believe this whole thing is going into the direction of him getting back with the Alpha Academy. Uh, maybe they're going to do what I what I just said, create a giant Alpha Academy with the Creed brothers even involved. But I don't believe that this is ending with Chad completely cutting off from the Alpha Academy, Otis and Akira and, Akira and Maxine. I believe this is all going into the direction that the Wyatt six is actually going to help them sort of mend their relationship through this weird storyline. Um, and for a second through this little, this little, uh, segment that we had here, there was a quick second where I was like, Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong about this. Maybe this is really a, 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 a cut. And this is going to be the moment because the moment would have been where Chad Gable hands, the Creed brothers, both chairs and basically tells him like, all right, go to work, fucking destroy Otis with these chairs. I always think concerto, but that's not what it always, it, it always means. But you see two chairs come, come off flying. You think that's where it's going. But basically he was calling for a beat down with chairs from the Creed brothers. And then he gets stopped by the Wyatt Six. The Wyatt Six comes out and saves Otis. Now, this is where I, when I said I was thinking that I might have been wrong, this is where it snapped back and I was like, no, I'm, I'm still right. I know this is this is going where I'm, where I'm saying it's going. And my question, because th th this is my question to you if you, don't, if you don't understand or if you don't agree with me. Why would, in storyline, why would the Wyatt Six save Otis from a beatdown? Like, what's the, what's the reasoning for them to do that? Like, why would they care? And that's the thing that made me realize, like, it's because this storyline isn't about just Chad Gable. This whole storyline is... From what it what they said at the beginning, it's about family. 
And it's about the fact that if Chad Gable would have let the Creed brothers actually go through and beat the fuck out of Otis with those chairs, it would have almost been like, you know, again, in storyline, it's almost like him going down the path of no redemption. This is the point of no return. This is Chad Gable going way too far. You get what I'm saying? This is beyond like, this is not something you may, you may do this to somebody you don't give a fuck about or somebody who betrayed you, but this is your family. Even if you have a difference, you don't do this to your family. You don't beat them the fuck down with weapons. That's, that's too far. And I think it, it would have been down the path of like, uh, for Chad to be, to do something unforgivable. And I feel like, and I could be reading into this too much, but it just doesn't make sense of why the Wyatt six would save Otis and stop the beat down. Cause they could have intervened at any other time. It was when the beat down was getting, was going too far and it was going down the path of Chad, you're going to do something that Otis isn't going to be able to forgive you for. So stopping him from doing that, gives gives basically the the window of the window of opportunity for forg forgiveness at some point he didn't do something unforgivable so um yeah yeah i still believe that's where that's where it's going again i could be reading way too much into that um but i've been pretty accurate uh so far with this uh the storyline and they could have easily just dropped the Alpha Academy, uh, but you know they and and it just doesn't make sense to me. Why is the Alpha Academy still involved with Chad? Why is Chad still involving himself after he's got the Creed brothers with him now? And why is the Wyatt Six invested in this? What's their motivation? And I absolutely believe it's it's family. It's to fix the family. Fix the family element because that is uh that's important to that story that's important to that to that group and if you remember i'm just reiterating some things here so if you heard this before forgive me but uh they've they've re they've reiterated with for instance um not reiterated sorry they've um made that clear with bo dallas and so far Eric Rowan, that they both lost their family. They both, uh, they were both looking for a new family and they both found their new family. So them, for them to have that so deep ingrained into the storyline, I think that's going to be part of why they're, that's their motivation of why they're in certain storylines.